This is Paladin Dance on frequency 9-5. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Everyone, gather around. Repeating. Shoot the, breeze Shoot the fat. This is an emergency broadcast. Now I know you all are doing your own thing. But Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs hey, some serious Daisy. help. Glad you can meet. We're just east of what? How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman? want to hurt our peaceful community. The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lord. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of, of the, the people, people for the people. people! Remain silent during the speech. Why, you dry? Head over to the third rail. Now, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but a flying ship? Yeah, how's it? Hey there. Running from something? Welcome home. Your lady friend there. She's the dame who writes public occurrences, right? Good stuff. I always did appreciate good investigative journalism. Jeez, you ain't one of them Diamond City types, are you? You're blocking my light, man. <laughs> Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that. Yeah? Hey. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Now that, that's freedom. What? I look like a bartender? Take your trouble someplace else.
you sticking around, you'll need to join a crew. I hear Bobby No-Nos is looking. Always a catch with the No-Nos, but she pays. University Point? No? Ain't surprising. The Institute wiped the place off the map. Yeah? have no handouts. been to Diamond City? Good noodles. Bunch of assholes, though. Hey, not too close, Mr. Tough Guy. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. Hey there. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. We didn't get to the top of this town by playing fair. Got a lot on my mind. Excuse me. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a... Decade ago, had a smooth set of skin back then. 
While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, was not to love about immortality. You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? All that chem use definitely prepared you for a career in politics. People respect me because I don't put myself above them, all right? I sling and shoot up just like the next guy. Now, before you bring me down, is there anything else you need? Tell me more about this town of yours, good neighbor. It's all about the people, understand? They're freaks, misfits, and troublemakers. And that's why I love them. Everyone here lives their own life, their own way. No judgments. Now, was there anything else? Did I hear you talking about the Institute? You like my little speech? I do it every once in a while, in case they're listening in. I want those synth makers to know that good neighbor is off limits. No one gets replaced in my town. But hey, weren't we talking about your needs? What did you come here for? Why does the Institute replace people? Hell if I know. Mess with people's heads, control us from the shadows, or maybe they do it just because they can. No one knows where the Institute is, what kind of people they are, or why they've decided to engineer their own slaves. But there it is. Just to be clear, everyone's welcome and good neighbor. I don't care if you're a synth, ghoul, or even a super mutant, so long as you play nice. And let me tell you, synth still under the Institute's control? Don't play nice. Done talking about this. What else you need? Looking for work. Work, huh? I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Usual job pays 200. But I like you. So let's push it to 250. You said things have gone quiet up there. That means extra risks to cover. I like where your head's at. Let's make it 300 caps. What else can you tell me about Pikmin Gallery? Nothing. That's why I'm paying you to go out there. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you.
Hey, I don't mean to bitch, but aren't you supposed to be heading to Pikmin Gallery for me? Something else you need? Nothing right now. Cool, cool. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Yeah. of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. Yeah. Hey, you. Looking for work? What kind of work? It's good work. Under the supervision of the best boss you'll ever have. If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. I'm gonna need more to go on here. There's a project I'm working on. A big one. One that could get me into lots of trouble if the wrong person finds out. So little discretion is called for. I got a delicate house of cards going here, you know? This is just a bad deal. Ah, uh, you're killing me here. 150 to start. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. Ready to get to work? Are you gonna tell me what we're actually doing? Look, we're pulling a job here. Big payoff. Taking some things that aren't technically ours yet. If you expect me to work for you, I'm gonna need more information than that. Mm, curious type, eh? All right, I'll spell it out for you. You are gonna be doing some digging. What are we digging for? Buried treasure? You could call it that. But seriously, lay off the questions. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will you?
think we can finally get through. You want to see what's on the other side? Oh, yeah. You think Bobby will pay us this week? I don't know, man. It's starting to feel like we're doing charity. You just used to... It's crawling with my alerts. Fail! Bobby can take this job and shove it. Good luck down there, new guy. Got a line on him? Seems like they had enough sense to run. Just going to waste otherwise. Say the word. Over here. Yep. Head over there. Can do. Go there. That's the plan. Wait there.
That's it. What is going on in my tunnel? Looks like we are having crab for dinner tonight. You'd eat Mirelurk? Ugh, no. Disgusting. Tough, but somehow slimy at the same time. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Who is this guy? He's just the guy we need to speed things along. Likes gadgets, money, and not much else. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. Wanna hear something spooky? There's this old insane asylum up north, but it ain't abandoned. Not like it should be. to shoot the shit? Just tell me what's on your mind. Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. What happened here? Ah, poor Sammy got snatched up by the Institute. Then those bastards send this low rent double in his place. It's pathetic. They didn't make it two days before everyone realized something was wrong with him. Then we made the call, and here we are. Speaking of which, I gotta figure out where this body needs to get dumped. Why don't you get going? Red, 
Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable prices? What's jet? You don't know? It's the best. It just hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of ten men in one inhaler. What other kinds of chems do you have? Well, you got your medicinal shit. Rad X and Rad Away for radiation sickness. Hey, do you think that's why they call it Rad X? That's far out. Mentats are for the sciency types. You know, eggheads looking for a boost to solve big problems. Buff outs for the muscle men. Fuck, just try it all is what I say. You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's gotta be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. Your offer is a little low, Fred. All right, let's make it 250. Not good enough. You said there's already a crew of mercs there. I did say that, didn't I? How about 300? You said there are gunners out there? The blackest hearted mercs around, friend. Well armed, organized. So, you know, make sure they don't catch you. All right, Fred, we have a deal. You're the best, the absolute best. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up chems. So, still want a room? Who owns this place? Mr. Morowski. Oh, you should have seen him in his day. This place used to be flowing with high-end chems, beautiful clients, and oh, the parties. But now he just stews in the back office and disgraces his parents' memory. I swear, if they knew how far he's fallen, they'd die all over again. So why don't you rent a room before I get worked up? Tell me more about this Morowski character. Oh, why bother? He's worthless. The other big names caught him with his pants down, and now he just has this ratty hotel. That's the way good neighbor operates. The strong make it to the top, until someone stronger kicks them down. Now are you buying this room, or not? Tell me a bit about yourself, Claire. I have been working in this hotel for over 40 years, and this is not how I imagined spending my retirement. Now are you done being nosy, or are you getting a room? Not today. Mark another in the moocher column. I am so happy. Look, I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. Hey, Morowski. You want a room? Claire runs the desk. Give her something to do besides breathing down my neck.
I just clean up around here. Hell yeah. Well, take your time. The literate keep me fed. Hey there. You're new around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? It's changed a lot since the last time I was here. Been here before. Well, good neighbors definitely come up in the past few years. Mostly since Hancock took over. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. Well, with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. I assume this is a paying job. Of course. How about 200 caps and some of the beer? Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? This isn't exactly the safest neighborhood. What about hazard pay? Fair point. 300 caps plus beer. Are you going to take the job? What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might have to shoot your way in. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? Isn't brewing equipment going to be kind of large? Usually it is, but apparently this machine has been miniaturized, so that shouldn't be a problem. Are you going to take the job? I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. It's my favorite person. Got some premium. What? I look like a bartender? Take your trouble someplace else. Peace, brother. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Hi. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Cause we're all a little strange 
change in you Have you got a history that needs a race What, another one of you mercs looking for, McCready? He's in the back room. God, I love this song. Cigarettes. A broken down you there. We need to have a conversation. Of chasing. Ooh, does the girl Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Now, is your motor running close to empty? Or are you running from yourself? Are you thirsty for a brand new kind of pleasure? Never been to kill or be killed? Oh, are you hungry to be somebody else? So sit down your pretty face You came to the right place Oh, where every night it starts once more I'm telling you, friend, your search That's right, good neighbor. I'm the one you're looking for. <laughs> we'll be right back after a short break. Beautiful as always, Mags. Thanks, Charlie. Can I get some water? No need to even ask. I always set aside a stash of the good stuff just for you. You are such a sweetheart, Charlie. Thank you. Oi, we got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia, the flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you gonna order? The third rail. Is this your place? What? Nah, God. Place is Hancock's. Oh, Charlie just keeps the floor clean, the drink's dirty. <laughs> so, you buying a what? Let me think it over. Well, fucking make up your mind! Excuse me, miss? Hmm? Well, what's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, I think I know a fellow performer when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? 
I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Was there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it? Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Music. Hmm. I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. What'll it be? I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Hey. Shoot. Hey, Piper. What do you need? I was just wondering where you and I stand. You got nothing to worry about. We're good, Blue. Now what do you say we get back to making What? Trouble? No. It can't. It, it, it... It's you! From Sanctuary Hills, right? <clears throat> You're from Sanctuary Hills, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. What? You don't remember me? I sold you that space in the vault. <laughs> but then I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me what? What is it? How did you get through these last 200 years untouched? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay. And the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Are there any other ghouls out there? From before? You mean crazy can't and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us. But no one from the neighborhood. No one from vault -Tec. He just left me there. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. 
No Commonwealth settlement wants a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Where else could you go? Diamond City bigots don't allow ghouls inside. It's just here or back at Sanctuary talking to that crazy robot of yours. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Blue, you got a minute? Sure thing. Just... what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Do people actively avoid you? Well, yeah. I mean, I didn't exactly start the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. It sounds like things got better. For the city? <laughs> yeah. For me. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you... For being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like... You're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I... I mean... <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well... <clears throat> well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting.
Hey. Just let me know. Piper. Something I can do? Your thoughts? Or one well-preserved relic, you know that? That was all I had. Sure.